is asking the curriculum leader for history. I've got a PowerPoint which I'll share with you with some tips on how to revise GCSE history. First of all, there are two exam papers. The first is Understanding the Modern World, which is two hours, and that's Germany from 1890 to 1945, and Conflict and Tension from 1918 to 1939. The second paper is Shaping the Nation, so that focuses on British history, and it is one hour long, and the focus is Britain, health and people, from year 1000 to the present day, also referred to as medicine. The best resource for revision is the Revision Guide by CGP. You can buy this for £3.95 on parent pay, which is cheaper than you would buy it from normal retailers. How to revise? There's lots of different activities that your son or daughter could do. So they might like mind mapping, some students prefer doing lists of bullet points or flashcards. We also produce knowledge organisers in school, which are grids that students can fill in. It's really important though that they don't just produce lots of revision without trying to learn it. So they must spend time after creating their mind map or bullet points, etc. Trying to learn the information and then testing themselves or getting somebody else to test them on that information. Another way of revising is trying to reduce the information. So if they've already produced mind graphs and bullet points, they can produce summary cards with just a few key points on it and use those to try and remember the main information. It's also important that students don't just revise the knowledge, but also exam skills. So revising exam technique, so they understand how to answer each different question in the exam. They could create flashcards on different questions, or a book at all about exam technique. It's also important that they do practice exam questions. So when they learn a topic, they then do a practice exam question to test their ability to not only remember the information, but to practice it. Resources to use for revision include exercise books. It's really important students to use what they've done in class time because that's all focused around um, how exam questions are going to be worded. We've also got a revision folder with mind maps and bullet points in right from year nine through year 10 and we'll be continuing to add work to that year 11. It's also the revision guide I've already mentioned, but they can also use previous exam questions or mock papers that they've done to see what they did well and which areas they need to improve on. Students have these sheets in their revision folders for each section of the exam. It includes topic summaries, key dates, key people and key words, and that's a really good revision tool as well. There's revision topics, so you can see that if they were revising, for example, Kaiser Wilhelm II, it tells you the six different areas that they need to know about. It's really important that they're using that section so that in the exam, they'll revise the whole area because that comes from the exam specification. There's also some sample exam questions on there, and there's also some help with exam technique. When students produce mind maps or flashcards, it's important that they don't just write lots of paragraphs of information, lots of sentences, but they actually break it down into just keywords, short phrases, using colour to help them remember it, and also images. Homework in from November will be mock exam revision. After November, students will be given a homework booklet to answer questions. The class teacher will set a certain number of tasks each week and the revision guide is the best place to, uh, best resource to use to answer those questions. Uh, the booklet contains page number references to the revision guide to help students. If you have any questions about the mock exam or the real exam, please do get in touch with me. Thank you.